Hello, pig. Hello, frog. Pig, I cannot find one of my favorite toys. I think it is at your house. Frog, you leave many toys at my house. Do you know which one it is? No, but it is a special toy. Will you please look for it? Of course. Is this it? No, that's not it. Can you try again? Of course. Is this it? No, that is not it either. Okay, I will look again. Is this it? No, that is not it either. Okay, I will look again. Wait, pig. Guess what? I am not really looking for one of my toys. I just played a joke on you. <laughs> um, do you like my joke, pig? Hmm. Actually, frog, there is something that is at my house that I will go get for you. One moment, please. Ah! <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to story time. I hope you enjoyed seeing what Frog and Pig are up to. I think that Frog will think twice before playing a joke on Pig again, don't you? Anyway, my name is Jason, and we've got another great story time for you today. Remember to like this video and subscribe to this channel, and we've only got one more story time after this, one more YouTube story time, which I'm sad about and happy about because Starting in May, we're going to have in-person story times outside at Harmony Amphitheater in the village of Webster. So check our calendar, websterlibrary.org, and you can register there. The first couple have filled up, but we're going to be doing them all summer long, so there will be plenty of opportunities for you to come see us. This is the I Love You song. I love you every day. I love you, I love you in every single way. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. When you're feeling sad, I am too. I love you, I love you as long as the sun shines. I love you, I love you, I love you all the time. I love you when you're near me and when you're far away. If anybody asks me, I'll say, I love you, I love you. And everything you do, I love you, I love you, I love that you are you. There is nothing you can say to make me change my mind. I love you and I'm glad that you are mine. Every day, I love you, I love you, in every single way. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. When you're feeling sad, I am too. I love you, I love you, as long as the sun shines. I love you, I love you, I love you all 
love you all the time. I love you when you're near me and when you're far away. If anybody asks me, I'll say, I love you, I love you, and everything you do. I love you, I love you, I love that you are you. There is nothing you can say to make me change my mind. I love you and I'm glad that you are mine. Well, I'm so glad that you're here today. We've got a great story time for you. Next up, oh, next up, oh, I almost forgot to do our stretches. So let's do that now. Here we go, ready? Reach up to the sky, yeah, hi. Oh boy, reach up in front of you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Reach up behind you like that. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Ah, to the side like that. Ooh, don't knock anything over, Jason. Over this way. Beep. And over this way, beep, and over this way, beep. This basement's not big enough for the two of us. Beep. Wait, who's the two of us? Beep, beep. The basement and me, I guess, are the two of us. Beep, beep. Does that mean the basement's not big enough for itself and me? Beep, beep, beep. That's so strange. Shake him out. Shake him high. Shake him low. Shake him high. Ow. Shake them low, shake them high, shake them low, shake them high, shake them low, pat your belly, pat your head, pat your head and your belly, pat your belly and your head, pat your other head, pat your other belly, sing out your tongue. All right. Next up we have a story by Shayna and a story by Sarah and me. Take it away, guys. Goldilocks and the Three Dinosaurs, as retold by Mo Willems. Once upon a time, there were three dinosaurs Papa Dinosaur, Mama Dinosaur, and some other dinosaur who happened to be visiting from Norway. One day, for no particular reason, the three dinosaurs made up their beds, positioned their chairs just so, and cooked three bowls of delicious chocolate pudding at varying temperatures. Oh boy, said Papa Dinosaur in his loud, booming voice. It is finally time to leave and go to the, uh, someplace else. Yes, continued Mama Dinosaur. I sure hope no innocent little succulent child happens by our unlocked home while we are, uh, someplace else. Then the other dinosaur made a loud noise that sounded like a big evil laugh, but was probably just a polite Norwegian expression. The three dinosaurs went someplace else and were definitely not hiding in the woods waiting for an unsuspecting kid to come by. Sure enough, Five minutes later, a poorly supervised little girl named Goldilocks came traipsing along. Just then the forest boomed with what could have been a dinosaur yelling, gotcha, but I'm pretty sure it was just the wind. The loud noise was immediately followed by another loud noise that sounded kind of like, be patient, Papa Dinosaur, the trap has not yet sprung. But that could have been a rock falling or maybe a squirrel. Either way, Goldilocks was not the type of little girl who listened to anyone or anything. For example, Goldilocks never listened to warnings about the dangers of barging into strange, enormous houses. So as soon as Goldilocks came across a strange, enormous house, she barged right in. Inside, Goldilocks immediately smelled the three bowls of delicious chocolate pudding. Mmm, said Goldilocks. That chocolate pudding smells delicious. If only I could get all the way up to the top of that counter. Then Goldilocks noticed a very tall ladder that just happened to be there and certainly wasn't left there on purpose. Goldilocks climbed up the ladder and found herself face to face with three gigantic bowls of chocolate pudding. The first bowl of chocolate pudding was too hot, but Goldilocks ate it all anyway because, hey, it's chocolate pudding, right? The second bowl of chocolate pudding was too cold, but who cares about temperature when you've got a big bowl of chocolate pudding? Not her. The third bowl of chocolate pudding was just right, but Goldilocks was on such a roll by now, she hardly even noticed. 
Soon, Goldilocks was stuffed like one of those delicious chocolate-filled little girl bonbons, which, by the way, are totally not the favorite thing in the whole wide world for hungry dinosaurs. Tired and groggy, Goldilocks noticed three chairs in the living room, so she climbed down the ladder and walked out of the kitchen. The first chair was too tall. The second chair was too tall. But the third chair was too tall! Goldilocks wasn't going to climb that high just to sit in some chair, so she hiked on over to the bedroom. When she got there, Goldilocks noticed that the three beds were also gigantically big. What is going on around here? groaned the exhausted girl. The bears that live here must be nuts. Just then, the room filled with a loud, booming noise that was either a passing truck or a dinosaur gloating. A few more minutes and she'll be asleep. Delicious chocolate-filled little girl bonbons are yummier when they're rested. Even a little girl who never listens to anyone or anything had to hear that. Goldilocks took a minute to stop and think, which was longer than she was used to stopping and thinking. Hey, she told herself, this isn't some bear's house. This is some dinosaur's house. Say what you like about Goldilocks, but she was no fool. As quickly as she could, she ran to the back door and got out of there. Just then, a loud plane flew by, which sounded pretty much like a trio of dinosaurs yelling, now, or charge, or the Norwegian expression for chewy chewy bonbon bon time. Suddenly and completely coincidentally, the three dinosaurs rushed through the front door, but they were too late. Goldilocks was gone and all that was left in the house were three disappointed dinosaurs. The end. And the moral is, if you ever find yourself in the wrong story, leave. And the moral for dinosaurs is, lock the back door. Take a hike, Miles and Spike, by Travis Foster and Ethan Long. Take care, grizzly bear. Stay loose, moose. Bye bye, bye, -bye butterfly. butterfly. Ta ta for now. Cow, cheerio, crow. Crow. Oh, I forgot the cow. <laughs> ta ta for now, cow. Cheerio, crow. Smell you soon, raccoon. Peace out, rainbow trout. We're out of here, dear. Can't stay, blue jay. In a shake, rattlesnake. Goodbye, dragonfly. Farewell, gazelle. Gotta go, buffalo. You're so mad. <laughs> <laughs> Clear the water, Otter! Take a hike, Miles and Spike! We acted dumb, chum. Let's try again, then. Want to go, go, Buffalo? Let's, Let's head, head out, out, Rainbow Trout. trout. <laughs> Let's the moose, moose. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Join, Join the, the fun, fun, everyone. Over there yet, Marmoset? What's a Marmoset? The end. Ugh, I think I'm lost. <laughs> the end. Again. I hope you enjoyed those stories. Very talented storytellers we have here at the Webster Public Library. Let us sing a song, shall we? Shall we, shall we?
we want to sing? What should we sing? You'd think I'd be ready ahead of time, but I'm not. I'm just not. <laughs> Tune. Anybody got any requests? I should probably edit this out, but I won't. So usually I do this the, the music thing at the end and then I do a song here. Well we're just gonna just gonna break things up a little bit now. So that was the music part there, and then I'm gonna do an actual song after our next story. So we're gonna have another story. And this is another story by Sarah and me are gonna read it for you. So I hope that you enjoy it. And I will see you on the flip side. <laughs> <laughs> Explorers of the wild. Oh, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> By Kale Atkinson. I love to explore. It's my favorite thing to do. There are so many neat things to see, like over there. And so many strange things to find, like under here. My parents tell me to be careful. They say you never know what you'll run into in the wild. I say I'm an explorer. And explorers are prepared for anything. So I climb over trees. I roll down hills. I run and I run. Until one day I ran right into <laughs> I was scared at first. I mean, I was really scared, but then I, I saw, saw we, we were, were both, both explorers. explorers. Together we found things to touch, things to see, things to hear, and even things to taste. Well, kind of. No discovery was too small to share. And no mountain was too big to conquer. This was our day. This was our adventure. We were kings of the wild. I didn't want it to end. But I had to go home. So I took a picture to always remember. The greatest explorer I ever met. The end. The end. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the story. And we've got one more song for you. And then we've got one more week of YouTube story times. Remember, you can go back and always watch the old ones. If you haven't seen them all, I'm, I'm this weird on all of them. So, anyway.
joining us today story time remember to be kind to yourself and to be kind to each other and we will see you next week for our last youtube story time until who knows when so like this video subscribe to our channel and watch all the old ones see you next time Hi! 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 Hi!